Welcome to my channel. In this topic, we are going to be looking at the sequential numbering for our journals. What is our agenda in this topic? Sequential numbering options overview, differences between document sequence types, how to define a sequence in Oracle. Why would you want to sequence your journals if you are Operating in a country where there is a legal requirement to sequentially number your journals, then you are going to be using one or more than one of our sequencing options if required. So, for example, some of the countries in Europe, it is a legal requirement for them to have their documents numbered, not just the journal, but it will be the payable invoices, receivable invoices, all of their financial transactions that they are entering into the system. Why do we sequence? Because it simplifies the task of tracing your journal entries for reporting and auditing purposes, so it is, has a complete audit trial. We have three types of sequencing, we have document sequence, we have accounting sequences and we have reporting sequences. We will talk about each of each one of these. So with our document sequences, these are used to assign a unique number to fit to your journal entries when they get created. And again, this may be a business requirement that you have or a legal requirement that you have. So it is as soon as you create that journal, save the journal, then the number would get created. Then we have accounting sequences. So these are used to assign gapless unique numbers to your journal entries when they are posted. And you can also have those numbers for posted journal entries in chronological posting order. So it can take the dates into account when it's posting those journals. We have our reporting sequences. Again, this is a capless unique number assigned to your journal. But when you close off the accounting period, this is satisfying the legal requirement by some physical authorities that verify the completeness of your company's accounting records. It is giving you this capless sequence for your posted journal entries in a logical order, so you can use one of them, two of them, all of them. It depends your requirements your particular business and country have. Document sequence types, we have manual, we have automatic and we have gapless. Manual that's properly, fairly self-explanatory, so you are assigning a unique number to the transaction when it's created. So the sequential ordering of that, the completeness of that, they are not enforced. It basically means that you have the flexibility in assigning the sequence number. That's meaningful. We have also document sequence style automatic. It will be grayed out because the system will automatically do that for each transaction. So automatic document sequencing assigns a unique number to each document automatically when the document is generated. We have also gapless. Gapless sequencing is similar to automatic sequencing. It automatically generates a unique number for each document, but only does it when the document has been successfully generated. So just a slight difference between those two, but it basically means that you don't lose sequential numbers due to incomplete or failed document creation. So those are the different types 
of document sequences. And you have also the determine type of document sequence. So are you sequencing legal entities or legal? What is the start and the end date for your sequence? And where are you assigning it? Which category? Are you using it manual or automatically? So is it automatically going to do your numbering? And remember that will work with types these two types or are you manually numbering and then if you have chosen to assign your determined type as ledger then you would have to have your ledger name in there if it's legal entity you had have to have your legal entity in there and start and end dates of your sequence now let's get into the application to show you how to set up the sequences. Once you log into Oracle, go to Setup and Maintenance. There is one option in Ledger options, you have to enable it. I will go to Financials, select Specify. your options select your scope as a leader then click on specify go to down for sequencing you have to enable either leader legal entity no sequencing for accounting and the document and for the document sequence you can enforce document sequence also for payable only, receivables or both and enforce chronological order on document accounting date for either also payables or receivable or both or disable the document sequence for payables and receivables or receivables so this is the first step to enable the sequencing let me put cancel you can search by manage accounting and reporting sequencing manage accounting and reporting sequences again so here you have two steps you have to define sequence then assign or make sequencing assigned I already defined one before as a lead sequence. I put name descriptions. I put it. You can also create a lot of versions to enable and disable by end effective date like this. So I am here created the two start date and the end date. For example, I created for the year as you see here. You can create it by year that the first version of this sequence will be working for 2023 and the end will be December. Another for 2024 will be started from January 2024 until 31 of December 2024 and you can make initial number the same year. Then you can go to assignment. have to assign to either ledger or legal entity I am here to assign my lead sequence to the ledger journal entry type general ledger sequencing event is posting here accounting date accounting date and here is the start date and here our sequence to this ledger and this journal entry type and the status as you see is used if you need to make a new one for example go to sequences create you can enter the name test sequence 
you can enter a version you can also put effective start date from July until end of the year initial number will be 0107-2023 ticket copy save and close go to sequencing assignment try to add system will ask you which ledger you are going to assign this sequence it is general ledger or sub ledger as we said before payables receivables let's try to select sub ledger here during the period close or sub ledger accounting the sequence will be generated you can make sub ledger accounting period close I selected at period close counting date and also here counting date require assignment for all journals here our segment as a balancing segment so you can assign our sequence which we already defined before here and the boot the start date the same and the end date December 31 journal source you can assign to specific category for example payables you can assign to accrual you can assign to payment let me select invoices also voice transfer, voice price adjust and the payment or you can assign to all so for the payables all the categories will be using this sequence starting by 1st of July until the end of 2023 or you can select a general ledger again posting or closing and the same here and you can select here as a real journals you can select all and all journal category or also you have to select for example closing journals autocopy journals allocations, uh, re-evaluations, re spreadsheet journals for the journal. This is how to define the sequence. Let me now try to enter a journal to check the sequence is generated or not. Go to journal, go to tasks, create journals, You have to ensure that you are working on the ledger which we assigned the sequence to it. Enter here, test sequence, August, again test sequence, accounting date, attachment, currency, balance type, category, I will put for example manual enter the debit and the credit enter the amount second line is a credit for example clearing Post credit as 1000. Try to save complete at post. 
now I saved you can click and show more here is created by what if you go to journal and show more there is one sequencing sequencing is still not because we said the sequencing generated after the posting the journal here is the control total of your debit and credit try to post before that I will take the name as a copy try to post it is posted successfully there is one process if you duplicate to change the process from tools process skill world you can make refresh it's already succeeded so come back here to check sequence number is already taken by this number and the sequence name is LED underscore or seek so this is the full cycle of the sequence the same you can make in payables and receivables I hope to subscribe my channel thanks for watching